So let me just choose a video. Let me just use a void old video. All right. Okay. The audio is very crappy. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a Discord activity in a voice channel. So basically, you can watch YouTube with your friends in a voice channel, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's get right into it. So before we start, I actually need to say that I'm actually using version 13. And for this command, I'm just going to use a slash command because why not? Um, and then uh, to install Discord JS version 13, you just need to do npm i uh, disk discord.js at dev to install discord.js version 13 and then uh once you're done with that you just got to do npm i and then you do discord dash together all right okay so once you're done with that uh simply create a client folder if you don't have one already so just create a client folder and here we're just going to create a, a new file called discord together.js in here, we're just going to do const equals require, and then we can just do discord, uh, discord together. Okay. In here, uh, we can use the class, which is discord together. Okay. And then, um, we can just do const discord together. Make sure it's lowercase in here. All right. Equals to new discord together. And then uh, we need to pass in client. So let me see if it auto imports now. Let's just import it. Uh, let's just get our client. So const client equals to require. And I want to go to your main file, which is mine is or slash index. Okay. And then you can just pass in our client in here. So make sure in your index as well, you want to make sure that you are actually exporting the client in your index file. If you haven't done that already, just do it. Um, and then once you've done with this, uh, once you did the declaration, we're just going to do module the exports equals to discord together. Okay. So that should be it for the setup. So now let's just start with the command. So if you haven't watched the slash command tutorials, I'll link both of those videos down in the description. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just start this out. Okay. So I'm just going to create a new, let me just call this, um, activity whatever it is okay and then we can just do in here uh youtube together dot js okay same thing with ping okay we got a name we got a description all those things so module dot exports okay and then the name will be uh together and then uh let me just make it yt together now mind let me just do together and then a uh, description we can just make sure uh, watch YouTube in a voice channel together. And then next will be options. Options. And then um, in here, oh, it actually should be an array. Yep. And then in here, we're just going to name will be um, channel. And then we need to find for the type, so options, and then we need to go to type. Um, I forgot the channel type. Okay, it's also called channel, perfect. So we can just pass in a description. Description. Uh, channel you want to activate this activity. Okay, you can put whatever you want, and the type will be a channel. And next, uh, we're just going to do, yeah, that should be it. Okay. So we're just going to use a run function, async client interaction, and then, uh, arcs. Okay. And then we're actually going to get the channel and we're going to check if it's a voice channel. So const channel equals to arcs. Okay. Let me just do channel ID. And then, uh, we can do const, uh, channel equals to message interaction dot guild dot uh actually we can get the intelligence real quick let me just do that real quick client let me see auto imports okay now i'll just import it later application command and then in here 
Oh, it's command interaction, my bad. Command interaction. And then here, lastly, it's going to be string. And then let me just import client real quick in here. Perfect. Okay. So now we got IntelliSense, uh, interaction on guild.channels.hatch.get. And then we can get the channel ID. Channel ID. Let me just check if I changed it back to default real quick. So it's going to be in events, interaction create. Let me just put it away in here. Close this out. Okay, it's different. Perfect. Okay, so once you get a channel, we're actually going to check if it's a channel. I mean, if it's a voice channel. So uh, if channel dot type is not equals to voice, guild voice. That's interesting. Okay, so guild voice is Discord version 13. I don't know what's uh in Discord version 12. I think it's voice in version 12 and guild voice in version 13. So if it's not voice return, okay, just in case, I'm just gonna log out uh the channel. Channel okay, and then um if it's uh guild voice, we're just gonna return or you can just uh, give it a response so we can just do return interaction the follow up and then just content um please please choose a voice channel okay and here we're just going to discord together uh it auto imports so if you don't know if you don't see this just do call discord together equals require and then you just want to go back to the file that you declared earlier okay so it's in here so it auto imports for me which is perfect and then we can just do dot create to get our code and in here we're just going to pass in the channel id and then next uh we're just going to do youtube all right and then it returns a promise so we can do dot then async actually we don't need async we can just do uh x and then interaction dot reply and then uh, x dot code Okay, so I'm just, I'm not going to make it, um, let me, interaction. Okay, I'm not going to make it, um, the app promo. Oh, it's already false. Okay, perfect. Okay, so yeah, that should be it for the code. Let's just test this out real quick. Okay, so now I'm on Discord. Let's just test this out. So if I do slash together and then channel, we need to mention the channel. If I try to mention a text channel, it's going to say, please choose a voice channel, which is perfect. And if I mentioned a correct channel, which is a uh, music channel, I mean a voice channel. Uh, so you can choose music. Oh, something has been, something has happened. Um, oh, it shouldn't be interaction reply. It should be interaction dot follow up. Let's just restart the bot. Okay, so let's just test it out again. Slash together. And then we will mention the music channel. Okay, it sends an invite. You just gotta click on it. Okay, for some reason it's not showing. Okay, it's showing. Okay, let's just wait for it to load. As you can see here, it's showing the activity. Okay, and then you can see tons and tons of videos in here. So if people are in the same voice channel, they should be able to see uh, what you're showing. So if I go in here and I can do a uh, recon Alex, so we see my videos pop up. So I can actually click one of these. So you can't click on here, you must click on this plus signs over here. So let me just choose a video. Let me just use a void old video. All right. Okay. The audio is very crappy. Okay. As you see, it actually works. Um, there's tons, uh, there's tons of other things as well, aren't that, uh, other than YouTube, you have poker, you have chess, you have betrayal, I don't know what's that, fishing, I don't know what's that. You can also add your own custom application ID, which you can find on the internet. So if you have your own application ID, you can pass it in there. Otherwise, um, yeah, you can see that, uh, it's actually working. Okay, you can just keep the video, like, above in here. Okay, it shows recon touch the controls, or whatever it is. Okay, so just keep in mind that, the first time when you're doing this, uh, there, it's going to ask you for authorization. Just click on authorize. All right. And then, yeah, you should be able to watch 
videos with your friends on Discord. If you face any errors, feel free to join the support server. Links will be in the description. If you want to watch more Discord Reacts tutorials, you see a playlist that you can click on right now on the screen. Just click on that. There's tons and tons of tutorials. Other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.